Mountain Point is a modern sounding hard rock band that has actually been around since I believe 2000 is when their first album came out. If you're watching this, chances are you already know who they are. If you don't, I highly recommend their first four albums. You can go to Wikipedia, type in Nonpoint Discography, and you will find where their first four albums are. Statement being their first one, and you can go from there. I highly recommend their first four. Those are definitely very good hard rock albums. In 2014, they released their album, The Return. And, well, I will say this for it. The production is... Solid. Guitars, bass, drums, vocals, well, actually, who cares about the bass, but everything else is, is solid. It definitely has a solid sound to it. But then again, if you're a non-point fan and for whatever reason haven't heard this album yet, shocked both that you haven't heard the album yet and that you're watching my review, but you'll already know what to expect. This sounds like non-point. They aren't experimenting. They aren't doing anything different. In fact, I'd say they do less experimentation on this album than they've probably done in a long time. You can basically pick any hard rock song of theirs, any of their heavier songs, and that's pretty much what you're going to get on this album. It sounds just like that. Now, that could be taken as a criticism that, oh, everything sounds the same, but to be honest, a lot of bands do that now, and... I guess that's more of a statement with the music scene as a whole than anything else. So if a band is going to release an album with the same sound, same style, etc, etc, what really boils down to how good an album is going to be is the songwriting. And I have to say, I really don't feel like the songwriting was up to par on this album. I find this to be their weakest album. It's not a terrible album, as I said, it's the same so sound that they've had pretty much every album since probably their second album on, and a lot of Nonpoint fans are going to like this album just because of that alone. And there is definitely not anything terrible on this album, but the songs are just kind of there. Very few actually stand out to me. In fact... Breaking Skin, The Return, and Never Ending Hole are the only three songs that really stand out to me. Those three songs, in my opinion, are all very good tracks. But the rest, don't really do it for me. Like I said, they're not bad. There are a couple other ones I kind of like and will listen to, but it's just, to me, not a very good album. I, I feel like the songwriting really should have been a lot better, and there should have been a lot more standout moments in this album. There's not really a good guitar riff or a good chorus or really a good anything after those three songs that really stands out to me. And I really think that's a shame because these guys are a good band. I really think they don't get the recognition that they deserve. And that's unfortunate. So for lack of anything else to really say about this album, because it is kind of that bland... If you're a fan of the band, you should definitely check it out. Chances are you'll probably like it, at least somewhat. It's not terrible, but it's also not really that great. And it's just kind of a status quo album with weaker songwriting. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 50 out of 100. It's alright, but I won't classify this as a failure, but it's not really a very good one either.